Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. Let's look at the top stories that we're following for today. So over in Genesee County, police are needing help in finding this missing man, Clyde Fairchild. The last time anyone heard from him in person was the September 21st evening. Police say Fairchild told friends and family he was headed to Florida to visit family, but he never showed up. Police say he might have gone now to the Owasso or Grand Rapids area. If you see him, please call police. And General Motors, its latest offer to the United Auto Workers Union as the strike enters week four. It includes a 20% pay increase over the contract period. Almost all UAW employees would make 82,000 a year in base wages by the end of the deal. First responders in Saginaw will be honored for their hard work at the fire department's annual award ceremony and open house. It's this morning at 10, you are invited. The award ceremony starts at the fire department headquarters on Federal Avenue. You know, just Matthew Mondro has your forecast now. Thank you, Blake. As we go through this Tuesday, remaining cool and damp, especially for this afternoon, we'll see some scattered showers still moving through. We have a high of 50 today, so we'll still spend a lot of the afternoon, even still just in the 40s. First alert hour by hour does show uh, once we go into the afternoon again, more of these scattered lighter showers picking up for us. We're only expecting around a tenth of an inch of rainfall today, so not much as far as accumulations go, but it will just be kind of persistently damp as we go through this afternoon and evening. Any rain does turn more isolated into tonight and Wednesday. It's that system we're still watching at the end of the week that will have a warm front extending from a, and that'll be coming right near the Great Lakes at least around Thursday and Friday. We could see a couple of showers ahead of the warm front on Thursday evening and then on Friday, but the majority of the rainfall doesn't pick up until Friday night and then Saturday. So that'll still be the wettest time frame of this entire period as the system moves through. Once we go into Sunday and Monday behind that, the northeast wind just brings some scattered lake effect rain showers here to mid Michigan and our Rainfall total still at the higher end with this and one to even two inches are going to be possible. So we're first alerting you to more of a soaking rain at the end of the week, Friday and Saturday. That's as long as that track for that low holds on. If that starts to shift around, then those rain totals will be going up or down accordingly. So we'll keep you updated on that as we go through the rest of the week, but also for the rest of the week, holding on to the middle 50s. So that cooler fall feel that'll be hanging around. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.